Hello again, everyone. It is time again for another pregnancy movie review. This time we'll be reviewing the movie Puffball, a little-known movie that you've probably seen clips of around YouTube and some other sites. Um, oh, man, where do I begin with this? Well, um, let me start off by saying that I've watched the film two times, twice. And after watching it twice, I still have no idea what the devil I just watched. Now, that's not to say that the pregnancy scenes are not good. They're excellent. Obviously, you see them right here. They're very good. But before I get to that, let me tell you the gist of the movie as I understood it, which is to say I, I didn't really understand it at all. Oh, okay. The story, if you can call it that, begins in Ireland with this woman, the red-headed uh, pre pregnant woman you see here. Uh, she's not pregnant in the beginning of the film. Uh, she goes to do some sort of um, uh, remodeling contract. She's a contractor. She builds houses or something like that. And her boyfriend, uh, right here on the right, is uh, with the curly hair, is, play, is supposed to be an American. Uh, he's from the same company. Apparently, they work together. One day, while they're working on this project, this housing project, uh, they decide to make love. And it just so happens that they make love on this um, Viking-slash-Irish-pagan uh, altar. That's, it's kind of like a giant rock hole in the ground, something or another, I don't know. I couldn't figure it out. Uh, but anyway, there's supposed to be some kind of magical puffball, an evil pagan puffball. Or is it evil? I don't know. Uh, anyway, let me, let, me, let me cut this down really short. <gasps> there's an evil uh, puffball magic thing, there's a magic thing that goes on, it's an old woman and a woman, and, and the, she has, gets pregnant, she has a baby, she, the old woman doesn't like it because she you know, wanted her daughter to get pregnant, she had a baby, you know, when she was older, she, and she lost it, so she tries to get her pregnant through this pe slash pagan slash uh, Irish booking altar, she gets pregnant, and then, but she doesn't get pregnant, and the redhead gets pregnant, but she wasn't supposed to get pregnant, so she picks up a condom, puts it in there, and then it does the magic, but the magic didn't work, it got her pregnant instead, so the redhead decides she can't have the baby, so she decides to purposely miscarry the baby, but it turns out, you know, even though she miscarried carries one of the babies, it turns out it was twins, so one of the babies survives, and then the baby goes on, and, it, and then it lives, and, but, but, but then the other people are jealous of it, and they don't like it for some reason, and the old woman, she gets already old and dies, but the, you know, and then, and then it goes on. Now, I know none of you could follow what I just said, but it's okay, because as much as you did not understand a thing that I just said, I could not comprehend anything in this movie. It was that incoherent. I did not understand the plot at all. I watched it. I, I watched it twice. I, I I didn't get it. I still have no idea what the devil this movie was about or what they were doing. So instead of trying to figure that out, I thought I would get to the nitty gritty. Is it worth buying? Are there enough pregnancy scenes in this film to look for, to get it, and to buy it? And the answer is, eh, not really. Let me explain. The pregnancy scenes that you can find here on YouTube that I have right here, those are the best pregnancy scenes in the film. There are no other bare belly scenes or any other kind of even even clothed scenes that are really good. Uh, like I said, the movie is way, way too confusing, and it gave me a headache, and it gives me a headache just thinking about it. This is why I've been putting it off, reviewing it for so long, because it drove me nuts that I could not figure this thing out. Maybe someone out there did. I didn't. It just seemed like a bunch of crazy nonsense that went from one random thing to another, and I couldn't figure it out with characters that pop up out of nowhere that are doing things that don't make sense. The bottom line is this. The pregnancy content is good. But there's no need to go out and buy this film or get it when you can see all the scenes on YouTube. Because that's it. These are the best that there is on, in the movie Puffball. So unless you really want to get a confusing, contrived, hard-to-understand movie like Puffball, just for the pregnancy scenes, it's not necessary. They're all right here, and you can find them on YouTube. 
Um, having said that, uh, you know, the, I give them, uh, you know, a thumbs up for the uh, pregnancy scenes, for the bare belly shots. They're really great. It's too bad this movie couldn't have had more. If it had, it would have been perfect. And it, and it would have more than made up for the incoherent storyline and bad acting and bad story, what have you. But, at any rate, the pregnancy scenes are good, but there's no need to go out and buy this film, really, when you can see it here on YouTube. And I thought, you know, since this movie confused me so much and I had a hard time understanding the story and the plot line and everything, I thought, since this movie comes from Ireland, takes place in Ireland, I thought I would pay tribute to this movie with this little song. Hope you like it. Oh, he doesn't smell like Irish Spring, and he never taught me anything. But still, I swell my chest and sing of my drunken Irish dad. Oh, his face looks like a railroad map, and he never shuts his friggin' trap. But all the ladies catch the clap from your drunken Irish dad. Ask a Hennessy, Tennessee, Morris, and Shaughnessy, Reardon, and Rooney, they'll tell you the same. McNulty, Mulrooney, and Cotter, and Clooney all feel the same mixture of pride and of shame. Finnegan, Hannigan, Kelly, and Flanagan look to the ground when their dad passes by. Cafferty, Rafferty, Joyce, and O'Lafferty fight for his honor and then start to cry. We're all infirm and our moods infect us like a germ Cause we're all the spawn of a pickled sperm And we don't tan well either From a drunken Irish dad Now to all the Irish people, I'm sorry, I apologize, I meant no offense It was all in good humor And having said that, let's get right to our score Okay, so the final score for Puff Ball is Two Pregnant Women It has good belly scenes but it doesn't warrant trying to get the film, or buying it, or trying to look it up. Uh, just look at the scenes here on YouTube, or what I have on my page, because that's all the belly scenes that there are, and that's all there is to see. And like I said, the plot in the movie itself is confusing, it's weird, it's incomprehensible. I couldn't make heads or tails out of it. Maybe some of you can, but I certainly couldn't. And if you can make sense out of it, please let me know what in the world this movie was about because I cannot figure it out. Anyway, having said that, that's our review for today. Goodbye, and we will see you next time.